Dial making is one of watchmaking's great specialties, and guilloche dials are a specialty within that specialty. To watch it being practiced is to take yourself back 200 years in time, because the methods and the machines being used have their roots that go back that far. It's fitting that we've come to Breguet in the Valley du Joux because it was Abraham Louis Breguet himself in his workshops in Paris two centuries ago who introduced guilloche dials to watches. This particular floor of Breguet surrounds us with workshops practicing different watchmaking crafts, finishing, assembling of movements, but we're heading to the guilloche room, which at Breguet has been described as a manufacturer inside the manufacturer. This is the uh, guilloche workshop. Uh, this is where all the dials are born. And the machines that are being used at uh, Breguet to make the dials are really of the style and the type that has existed for 200 years. That is to say, all of the work is being done by hand, the turning is done by hand, and the pressure uh, to do the actual carving is done by hand. So these are far from automatic machines. They are as manual as it gets. One of the peculiarities of doing the work on a guilloche dial is the fact that for many dials, there are multiple patterns that come together to form the entirety of the dial. And the way this is done uh, is for one man to do the entire dial, that is to say, to do all of the patterns. Uh, we've, we've come to uh, the uh, workstation, if you can use that uh, kind of terminology for a machine that is uh, 200 years old, uh, with one of the senior guillochers at Breguet who's been doing this for 22 years, going into his 23rd year. He's working on one of the more difficult patterns for the Breguet uh, Héritage Tourbillon that has two different guilloche motifs. One is called flamme, and the other is called drape moire. These are uh, two of the uh, most challenging uh, to create, uh, but he's doing both on the same dial because he does the entirety of the dial. There's a byproduct to the uh, guilloche work, which is little bits of gold that are in fact being cut out of the dial as the pattern is created. Those bits of gold are saved and uh, recycled. Guilloche work is something that takes patience and takes enormous skill because when you're turning the machine, the rate of turn, which is controlled by one hand, has to be absolutely constant and consistent. And the same thing is said for the force of the cutting tool onto the uh, gold disc of the dial. That as well has to be controlled precisely and consistently to get perfection. It's easier to see the two patterns of the Heritage Tourbillon dial at a more completed state. This disc uh, in solid gold, as all of the dials, uh, has the drape moire pattern shown on the outside, and the subdial is the flanque alterné pattern.